Today we'd like to cover how you fix the brushes on a beefcake motor. When we talk about beefcake motors and their failures, the first thing we want to look at is their causes. Some of the causes that can cause motors to fail is high amperage draw. This can occur when there's low battery voltage or a poor grounding. So when you're checking your, your motor, you want to ensure that you have good uh, voltage at the motor. The second thing that can cause failures is over torquing or plugging of the unit. This can occur whenever grain becomes wet and gets hard or something was left inside the bin that may cause jamming. The final thing that causes failures is just use. Over time, these brushes will become worn and can fail and will need replacement. When we go about checking if we have an actual brush failure, the first thing we wanna do is use our voltmeter to test the voltage at the unit and ensure that we are getting voltage there. To do this, you'll take your voltmeter and take the leads across the positive and negative, and you'll have another person turn the cake feeder on and see if voltage is present. If we are reading and you see that there's 12 to 14 volts at the, the cake feeder, you know that voltage, adequate voltage is there and the motor should be turning. If the voltage is not there, you likely have a different failure. This failure could include a poor ground, uh, no voltage in the truck, blown fuses, bad solenoid, bad switch. It is something that will that delivers the power to the cake feeder. The next part, we need to make sure we have disconnected power from the unit so that we can work safely on the unit. This can be done by unplugging the gray connector on your leads or by removing these terminals uh, from the motor itself. When we go about changing this brushes, we remove this plastic cover first. First thing we look at is the retaining, the retainer. Sometimes this retainer will be loose. Um, sometimes it will be hard to move. In this case, it moves somewhat freely, but it's not as springy as normal. Whenever we pull it off, we immediately notice that there's a lot of burn marks around it. This is a sign that this uh, electric motor has probably overheated at least at some point in its life. The next thing we do is we pull out the spring. This spring has failed by overheat. It's got a burn mark in it. It also has uncoiled as it's lost all of its uh, rigidity from the spring. A good spring should be tightly wound and, and not have the, uh, the sprung appearance. Finally, we're going to remove the brush. To remove the brush, we take our Phillips screwdriver and remove the screw from the lead. Once this screw is removed, we set the screw aside and usually it's best to pull on the wire itself and remove the brush. We can inspect the brush for different uh, damage to see if it is in fact failed. In this case, there's a lot of galling and a lot of uh, chunking. You can see that there's pitting within the face of it indicating a failure. This brush is no longer good and needs to be replaced. The final thing you check is inside, you look at the rotor. When we look at the rotor, we're looking to see if it uh, has grooving occurring. If there's deep grooves cut in the motor, this motor is no longer any good and would be best to be replaced. In this case, the motor does not have any deep grooving. There is some, some uh, black varnishing marks, but it'll be okay. This one will continue to be usable. To replace the brush, we get our new brush. Uh, parts can be ordered through Harper Parts at your local Dewey's dealer. You'll take your brush and you'll insert it with a smooth face. You'll ensure it's got a smooth face. You'll just insert it into the motor. The next thing will be is to put the wire in and use your screw that we just removed to tighten the brush back down, the leads back down. With the leads down, you will now take the spring that we just showed earlier, the new spring, and this spring uncoils in one direction, not both. In the uncoiled direction, you're going to put the, the spring on top of the new brush. And with the new retainer, you're going to take the clips. The clips will be facing your uh, gearbox. In this demonstration, you'll notice that I have taken the motor out of the, off the cake feeder. It is actually not have to be taken off to do this repair. It can be done in the field. Now the brush has been replaced, we can put the cover off or put the cover on.
And with this cover back on, we could move on and check the second uh, brush and make sure it has a failure.